Libra. Welcome back to White Crow to Row. This is your singles love reading for September 2021. A you versus them spread, Libra. We're trying something new on the channel. Bear with. I hope you guys like it. If so, you know, do let me know. Do let me know if you like the style. Leave a like on the video. Also, do leave a like on the video while you guys are thinking about it. But especially if something resonates in here with you today, Libra. This is a look at your energy versus your person's energy. This could be someone you know, of course. This could be been there and done that, <laughs> right? But for my singles, singles, it's about who is coming towards you at this time, a you versus them spread, what characteristics or traits you guys share in common, things of that nature. If you like it, Libra, we will keep it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, well, we'll get into that in a second. Libras, do keep in mind we have the full moon in Pisces coming up on the 21st of this month. And this can be an energy of, I feel like the moon is important to your spread here. By the way, for new subscribers, if you're not familiar with my style of how I read, I pre-pull your energy. I do not look at this. Pre-pull your oracle energy. I do not look at this. I feel like I'm talking to a lot of new subs uh, new potential new subscribers in, in this particular reading. So Libras or new people. <laughs> Anyway, my name is Ebony, if I didn't tell you that. Oh man, I feel like you're scatterbrained, Libra, a little scatterbrained. You sense something, Libra. Your sixth sense has already been talking to you about something. Your intuition has been talking to you. I have a feeling you know in advance some of the things that you're about to see. I also feel like I'm talking to a lot of tarot readers today tarot readers or healers, I feel the need to say. Anyway, take what resonates with you guys. If it's your story, great. If not, don't force it to fit. Also, check your other placements, Libra. All right. Using the Ethereal Visions Tarot today to paint your story. Libra, underlining the spread, we have the Devil to the Ten of Swords and the Page of Swords in reverse under that. Well, Libra, we've had a heavy ending here. Heavy ending, possibly with a Capricorn, okay? This is a cycle in time in your life, Libra, where I don't feel like you had very, this was a karmic cycle, very much, okay? We know this. This was a time of lessons in your life hard lessons, um, dealing with toxic people, right? Addictions, things like that. Sexual addictions, um, substance abuse, even I want to say for some of you, or you were dealing with people in that energy. Okay. But naturally guys, when we are involved in, when we are dealing with someone in that energy, we are also technically kind of a part of that energy. You know, we are who we hang out with, in other words. Um, it's the end for you of that cycle in your life, Libra. I feel like many of you have already put this down. That's why it's underlined. Okay. You could also have Capricorn in your chart, Libra. So if this, if you do have Capricorn in your chart, all the more clarification to you that this could be your reading or who you're dealing with. Okay. Someone is watching you and it could be this person from the past. I feel heavy reconciliation wants to be had with some of you okay. to discuss this ending. Yes. Okay. Way to kick it off, right, Libras? <laughs> All right. You could also just be dealing with the Capricorn and also Libra. For both of you, I could say you've had heavy endings. This is true. In your current energy, Libra, what we have for you, all right, we have the Seven of Wands in reverse. I'm going to take this actually and only read positives for this baseline energy, Libra. 
Although I did see it that way for a reason, so I know some of you have felt the need to guard yourselves, especially if, like I told you, we've been, you kind of have a sick sense about this. I don't think you want this past energy to come around to you. I really don't, okay? And he's faced away because it's like there's anticipation of feeling the approach. Like you've reached a new status, Libra. You've reached a new elevation. You are elevated, right? Standing your ground. You are elevated at this time, Libra. Standing your ground and you do not want anything to come in and disrupt your peace. Peace of mind. Right? In your person's current energy? Yeah. We have the Ace of Cups in reverse. So this is a fall in love offer. Right? Someone or a cup of love was withdrawn here. Maybe they to you. It doesn't matter. Love was withdrawn from the situation, but I'm going to only read the upright because new love is technically on the table for you. And this is a singles love reading. And I'm looking at future energy for you, Libra. New love. They have a cup of love to give. Will you accept it? Or are we defensive to it? Because I see your energy. Right? I feel a sense of you not sure how to take this person's energy. You're not sure if you want it anymore. It's like this person already had their chance, and I have a feeling, Libra, if you've already been through a 10 cycle, if this is person is returning, you don't want anything to do with this cup of love. So why are we here? It could say also at this time that the person you're dealing with is very new, Libra, and they have a grand cup of love to give to you. Okay, but there's two storylines here, I feel, already. So you take what resonates, all right? Your strength, Libra. Eight of Swords in reverse. What would you look at there? This is why I read reversals, guys. Because <laughs> I know, Libras, you have freed yourself from mental prison. You have freed yourself from a toxic place. Okay, many of you have. <sighs> It was willful blindness. Some of you stayed in these cycles of, of stayed in these cycles for a very long time, and you didn't know how to break out of them yourself. But you did, so okay. In your person's energy, we have the Four of Swords in reverse. They want to come to you, Libra, with some form of communication. They are ready to take action. Yes, the Four of Swords. They have also healed recently from some sort of heartbreak situation, right? They have healed. They are ready to take action to offer a cup of love here to you. They want to. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Up to you, Libra. I told you. Major 10 cycles here, Libra. Wheel of Fortune. This is a faded event. I think some of you Libras knew that eventually the past would return. And speaking of the full moon in Pisces, dealing with things of the past. I think many of you Libras who are, are single right now and are wanting new relationships, you're ready to put down the old karmic cycles. You've been... You've already put them down, but let's say at some point you've known that the person from your past is going to have to come back around to either make amends with you or to apologize or to speak their peace with you, right? You've known this cycle would come back around. So fortune's wheel here, the wheel of fortune, a 10 cycle, right? You're entering a new 10 phase, leave that, because you did free yourself in the past. Do you have the opportunity, if you want to, to reconcile with someone? Of course. I feel re reconciliation all over this reading for you today, Libra. All right. But it's up to you. You're a person. So, the fortune's wheel is also the weakness here, right? You're a person. Strength. Leo energy. Could have a Leo placement. Your person could. Also, all the fixed signs in the wheel... A fortune here, Taurus, Leo, 
Scorpio and Aquarius. You could have these placements as well, Libra. Your person showing up as strength. They have a lot to say, but they don't. They don't speak. They hold back. They hold back. <laughs> they have a lot of love, but they know that they have hurt you or that there has been pain in this situation. Libra, also feel free to reverse the energies as it applies. I feel the need to say that for some of my cross watchers that are in here. Reverse energies as it applies. Okay? You may feel you resonate more with this side of the reading versus this side. Let's clarify. I'm using the Scrapini Tarot today. It is a medieval tarot deck. Renaissance. Okay. Renaissance. This person knows that um, they've had to do a lot of personal healing, Libra. Because love was withdrawn from this situation before. You to the point on the bottom of the deck, Libra. Queen of Swords. All right. Show me. Seven of Wands. You are defensive. Standing your ground to this person. Show me clearly. Okay. <laughs> well, that's the truth. All right. Knight of Wands to the Ace of Swords. Knight of Wands to the Ace of Swords for you, Libra. You're taking action on truth and a past pathway. Some of you physically also, I feel like, got clean. Clean, right? Knight of Wands, don't assume player energy just because the Knight of Wands comes out, because the Knight of Wands greatly represents our, our own personal drive, our truth and a pathway about which direction and our conviction about which way that we're going, right? Swords representing, of course, our thoughts. We know this to be true, Libra. Many of you, I don't have to explain these basic concepts to you, but some of you also are new to tarot and, and like to hear this. So swords representing your basic thoughts, bonds representing your fire, your drive and passion, right? Desire. You Libras are standing your ground, your status has elevated, and you're taking action on your own personal truth and clarity. You are very clean at this time, Libra. You're very clear. You're holding up your own crown here as well with this Ace of Swords. You are running your own empire. You've done a lot of shadow work. I feel the need balancing your energies. Um, what's true for you, okay? Libras. Libra is actually a, a, a masculine energy, but you also need balance between your divine masculine and divine feminine sides. You've taken it upon yourself to take action towards that goal, okay? You took a blindfold off. Show me this Ace of Cups for Libra's person. Formally in reverse. <laughs> Love was withdrawn here. Show me the Ace of Cups, please. Okay. A lot wanted to come out for this person. Okay. We have the Fool to the Eight of Coins. To the Seven of Swords. Libra, if this person is new, because I do sense that they are, you have both both a cycle with an old and a new coming in simultaneously. I do feel that for many of you. The old comes in as the new. The old approaches as the new comes in. Let's say that. that that's, that's exactly what I'm feeling off of your energy right now, off of this energy. You are about to have a brand new cycle, Libra, a new beginning, right? 
could be with someone you know from a work situation, right? Work, and you're, this person also is willing to work on something with you. They are very quiet with the Seven of Swords energy and have not expressed anything to you. Okay. Um, this person also heavily thinks about you at work, I just heard. <laughs> I don't know if you're dealing with an Aquarius. Okay, show me Eight of Swords, please, for Libra. Thank you. Okay. Two of Wands in reverse. Two of Wands in reverse, Libra. You could be at a physical distance from this person. You've been at a physical distance from this person. You've had your own pathway to cross down. I don't see you taking any action yet, Libra. You're kind of staying still, not moving, because you've had your own healing to do outside of this. You've been blind to kind of, I think, working on yourself. Show me the Four of Swords in reverse for Libra's person. Ooh, they got a lot, I told you, a lot of new trying to come in for this person. Ace of Pentacles, yeah. They want to come in and offer you, Libra, a solid new beginning, okay? They are envisioning new. So this tells me, too, that you've this is recent past for you, Libra. You've ended this cycle with this old person in your life, okay? For sure. Your person, you will know them. They have a lot of new, a lot of new, okay? But they also have a lot of personal self-doubt. These are things, these are conversations I don't think that you've had with this person, Libra. I don't think the two of you have really gotten to know each other, frankly. Give me the Wheel of Fortune, please. cycle coming back around. It's a new cycle for you, Libra. The old cannot approach you now, and they know that. They know that. Because you're looking darn good, honey. Mm -hmm. Queen of Wands. Oh, yeah. Libra. Yeah. You are taking charge now. It's bringing you success. Some of you could be influencers, seen in the public eye for what you do, okay? Um, online, a lot, many of you, what I just heard, fellow, you know, YouTubers, that kind of thing, or Instagram, um, hey, <laughs> um, yeah, fortune is bringing you success because you released a blindfold, you released toxic energy, show me strength for your person, they can either really be holding back a lot of what they feel for you, Libra, or... They're courageous. Or they're a Leo. <laughs> or they're holding back their own personal wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups. Beautiful. They are single too, by the way. Just felt the need to tell you. It will bring them great pleasure, Libra, to have a new beginning with you. To literally have this new beginning with you. But they're very quiet. I feel like this person is shy on a small level, Libra. <laughs> um, you know them from work, or you've worked with them at some point. They want to work on this with you. Okay, you could physically be bad at distance from this person. Also, your person could be a Capricorn. What is the mutual between these two? Mutual energies between these two. Should we play that? What is the heart of this reading? Wow. Wow. Libra. Tower. Yeah. Wow. Tower. Mutual energy. Empress. So Libra, this sudden change and sudden realization, um, this tower is crumbling here, but it's crumbling with a star. I feel like a star came in and struck this down, Libra. It's literally a star. A star. Some of you are rising stars, by the way. Um, 
the disruption here that existed, it was a sudden realization because what's backing this is the world to the Empress. A new cycle. Endings as well as beginnings because as you close out the old, you bring in the new. Seven of Wands again. Where we started. Where you started, Libra. You're rising up above the situation. Beautiful. It's a new world. All right, Libra. Let's get into your oracles. We've got a lot. <laughs> On your side, Libra, we have... Reconciliation. <laughs> This is this part where tarot readers, I know you can agree, where you just kind of go, yeah. Thank you, spirit. Okay. Someone from your past is returning to your life, Libra. Also, you have fresh air from Doreen Virtue. Your body needs refreshment from oxygenated air generated by grass, trees, plants, and flowers. Spend time outside today as near to Mother Nature's cradle as possible. Open your curtains and windows to refresh your home as well. So let the air in, Libra, get refreshed. Feng Shui is what I feel the need to say. Some of you are cleaning out your space. Let the air in. You are an air sign, Libra. You need to let air into and light into your space to feel clean and to feel open and to feel like yourself, Libra. Yeah, for sure. I know that. I have to have air. I have to have light, guys. My fellow Libra is fellow Libra, by the way, if I didn't say that. Air, light is important. Gotta have it. Okay. All right, Libra, your oracle is the shadow. The moon. This is about following your imagination, Libra. Using your imagination to bring forth the dreams that you were trying to bring forth at this time. Also, keep in mind that cycles of the moon, right, are going to bring aspects of your dark and light side out into the public, right? Out to the forefront to deal with the past as well as the future. You are embracing the energy of the shadow at this time, Libra. Use your imagination. We just had the new moon in Virgo. We're about to have the full moon in Pisces. Your sexual energy is also going to start picking up Libra is what I just heard. If you've been dormant for a while. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, your archetype Libra is the healer. The healer. Wow. The healer. Let us read, Libra. Let us read the healer. I told you many of you were healers out here, did I not? Yep. You're healers. Or, and that doesn't necessarily, you are a healer. You are a healer, Libra, by what you do. <sighs> Some of you, I just heard, Libra is not your sun placement. You are checking up on another placement. You are a physical healer. You heal with your hands. I feel like some of you could be earth placements. We do have Capricorn here, right? Okay. Or Taurus is also what I just heard. Okay. Sorry. Where are we? I love these archetypes. This is... Here we go. This is Archetypes, the Archaeo. Okay. This is by Nick Bancock. The Healer, Libra. The Healer oversees your physical and mental well being. She knows what you need and what you do not. To lose touch with her voice is to lose your health. Being able to call on her nurturing support is fundamental to your survival. She's always close by, but if you are unwell and continue to ignore her wise promptings, your pain 
will be exacerbated. Persona. Stepping through the ring of healing flame, she will enfold you in her arms to cauterize your wounds. The celestial Parvati is skilled in all the arts of curing malaise and and assuaging pain. I know I just butchered that word. Sorry, guys. Go to her. She will relieve you from your hurt. Healer Parvati. Mm -hmm. The healer needs your muscles. Her hands are soft and strong, and she releases the dark cells of trauma long held within your body. She smells of lemongrass and tamarind, tamarind, and you can feel the warmth of her breasts pressed gently against your back. She absorbs and absolves the burden of guilt and sadness that tortures you. Your chest opens and you can breathe deeply. Her compassion cosets you and your troubled mind clears as she corrects your imbalances with minimal disruption. She asks you the question you need to answer. When you are exhausted from striving but continue to push yourself, she encourages you to put down your tools and rest. When you cannot sleep, she closes your eyes, and if you are prepared to listen, she will teach you how to let misfortune harmlessly pass by. And when the time comes to let go of your life and step into the fire ring, she will take your hand and accompany you. Many of you have done this for others. You've been kind of that torchbearer, that light for many, for many. And it's time for you to take care of you so you know if this resonated with you, Libra. All right, your person, wow. <laughs> we have for them wedding in reverse. This situation involves marriage. You're not married to this person. You could have been married to this person. This person could be leaving a long-term relationship, a commitment. They could have also recently gone through a divorce themselves. Or simply, you're not yet married to this person. We have see only love for your person, Libra. Look past the seeming errors, mistakes, misunderstandings, and see only the love within each person, including yourself. Your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways. Undreamed of ways. I just heard you two actually are dreaming. You may have dreamt about this person or had a dream about this person, Libra. All right. Their oracle is the white owl. The white owl. I go ahead and tell you the white owl, Libra, plans to precision. He sees things far, or she, sees things far off in the future. Brings the news from the future, Libra. Some of you are very clairvoyant. And look at the yin and yang behind the white owl, the divine masculine and feminine, trying to come through here. Also with the moon phases, this is a divine connection, Libra. Also, I'm feeling the energy of, of two, Libra, for you. I think there's an essence of your shadow side that will be mirrored in this person, even if they are a karmic, okay? There was something about this energy this karmic situation that had to show you something about yourself. You were learning about yourself through this person. This person, whoever they are, <laughs> plans ahead. They see into the future and they strategize. Okay? Yes, they do. It could be an air sign as well. Since we do have air showing up the owl, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They are the illuminator, the sun, the sun. I have a Leo here also, the illuminator. 
They will bring illumination to your life as well. You will see the turned right to it. Look at that. <laughs> you will see them for who they really are. And I think after this tower, I feel like some of you, let me know if you're done with Scorpio, by the way. Some of you know who they are already. You know. Like I told you, you know already. So what am I telling you for? <laughs> okay, the Illuminator. The Illuminator holds a candle aloft against blackness. His flame cuts through the inky shade and shows us the terrain beneath our feet. This is the light of consciousness that gives all our senses meaning. He is also the means by which your inner eye can navigate through your maze of complex emotions and scattered thoughts. He is, in short, the one who makes you aware of your existence. Mm. Okay. Without dark, or without the dark, there is no light. Light is rendered meaningless. And without light, darkness obliterates all things. Each needs the other to exist. That is the chiroscuro. The illuminator eradicates nothingness and gives us the world of sensation, a world we play and struggle in. I have a feeling, Libra, that this person... This person has a hard time grasping their own internal shadow. They deal with it. They have, they have had to learn how to deal with it. Okay. But they don't see it. They don't see it yet as a part of their evolution. They don't see that understanding their shadow is almost, in fact, as deeply needed as understanding what, what your good is, because it's about contrast. It's about knowing what you don't want in order to embrace what you do want. This person only can look at a negative situation sometimes and feel like there's a gap or a pain within themselves that is unworthy to receive. And I'm here to tell you that that's not true, if you're listening. They're learning how to turn that light from within without, but also knowing and accepting that it's, it's okay to embrace who you are. All of it is who you are. Are. There's only positive or negative. Those are two capable emotions we are capable of feeling. You need both. Final card, Libra. Your mutual energy between the two of you is that you are light beings. You are light beings, Libra. Wow. If you re resonate with that, uh, it's funny you have healer and illuminator here as light beings i immediately feel the need to say pleiadians pleiades you move in and out of dimensions you were like angels in that sense you thrive on light and get fresh air right Fresh air. An angel. <laughs> yeah. This was a test, guys. I hope you liked it. I hope um, this resonates with you. Do let me know down in the comments if you like this style. We'll keep it. <laughs> okay, yeah, we are certainly pushing our time limit here, aren't we, Libra? All right, guys. Singles, I hope you enjoyed this. Do leave a like on the video if you stayed all the way through. I do appreciate you. Um, bye for now, Libras. Take care. Guys, um, Libras, we got birthdays coming up. 
We all do. <laughs> Guys, I am hosting my first master class. I did say that at the beginning of the reading. If you would like more information on that, do find the link down below in the description. Libras, you can also follow me at my Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. <laughs> all the links are down below in the description. Love and light to you all. Take care.